So let's build ROS2 on macOS M1. To do that, we need to do a couple of changes in the source codes and the repositories. So if you look at ROS2 documentation to, to macOS build. So if you go here they have a couple of installation instructions but they say that we they support only mac os 10.12 and uh, yeah you have to follow these instructions here and install what is necessary and this all these components that you need to install and uh, yeah you have to pull the source code from i'm using ros2 galactic here not ros2 crystal uh, so you just go to galactic yeah. I think you just need to change the repository here if you look at ROS to galactic github oops sorry so if you go here and check the galactic release version so we have this ROS to repos here so usually if I do the whole thing then in my Mac OS it doesn't build the entire packages that's mentioned here for example this doesn't work for me so I just removed this implementation uh, I mean I just removed these repositories not to compile them but I used Eclipse Cyclone DDS as the RMW interface and uh, yeah and only installed a couple of bare minimum ROS components so let's see how we do this so I have this file here but I made so many changes I removed all the RVs all, all these packages are not there and you have to do a couple of changes here in the end I'll also upload this in github so that you can also try compiling and installing ROS on your macOS M1 so let's see I have already installed and built a lot of components here but just for reference I'll show you the structure here let's see you initially have only these two here and the source folder will be empty and you have to do this command to, to import uh, all the source files into the source folder so once it is done I've already done this I can show you here so you have mn to see Eclipse Cyclone DDS OSRF ROS and everything here and there are source codes in that everything is organized so you don't need to do that for the first time build it will take lot of time but uh, yeah I've already built once and then now I'm building again so this is the command I use uh, before that before before that usually you have to do a couple of changes in a uh, couple of packages here for example in ROS2 um, you need to change this mimic vendor cmake list file and you have to use this hash code here uh, i mean this code this id here so that it will support mac os m1 and they have recently updated that so i changed this one here in this cmake list so that it is compiling now in my mac os so apart from that everything is fine but sometimes it complains that there is QT there is no QT and there is no open CV but I'll show you the commands when it when it arises but right now I saw this I exported those two variables and then I come I build the whole ROS repositories so let's see now you can use so my system is currently in so if you look at here give name 
my machine is arm 64 here it is and if i go here usually this is my x86 terminal so you name here it is x86 terminal but that's not a problem but you can use this particular art arm 64 and then you can do this command so that it starts installing everything into your pc i mean in your mac so for the initial build it took me around like 30 minutes but after that it took just like a couple of minutes I guess so it's building now pretty fast so if now it is compiled and it is successful all 271 packages are compiled but in case if your build fails please check the paths that are pointing for example qt and opencv in my case um, it compliance uh, uh, cmake compliance that it didn't find qt cmake dot cmake file so in that sense what you do is you can do like this for example for opencv this opencv directory my opencv is installed here so i, po I point this path to this variable here so that will solve the issue for me it complaint for qt and opencv so right now it is fine and uh, yeah it's built and let's see um, let's see we will run the we will source the script and then i do reverse search here so you do this here mine is z shell and you can also go here i make uh, pn vertical let's clear this terminal here and then source this also here and source this also here and yeah now you are ready to run your own applications let's see how to run a volume so let's do the smaller one it's a python listener and uh, yes it is a talker so we are running two nodes here and then at yeah, the same time we can also see here the topics ross2 topic list so here is the charter topic that it registered and uh, yeah here so it sends it's it is listening to this hello world and it is publishing this hello world so that sounds good and uh, yeah now let's run this turtle sim um, so we run this turtle sim node here and we use teleop so it open this gui and we also open uh, I also run total teleop yes yeah. so now what we can see here okay I put this here so that you can see and I minimize this here so here to move you have to press you see it's moving now 
very good you can also see rows topic so rows to list yeah here you have command velocity topics color sensor and post topic here so and i haven't tested every function but it took me two days to compile this whole stuff in my mac without using any virtual machine or something yeah i hope this helps and uh, good luck thank you